Good morning. Yeah, we had another few rainy days and uh, during that time the concrete could dry out and now I can start working on the wall behind me. As you can see we can't see much of the stones anymore and there's a lot of small holes like this one here for instance uh, where water can drip in and then it goes through the wall inside the house. So the whole wall I have to clean up and the most exciting part will be this old window here. I'll do everything by hand again as usual so it will probably take a little bit of time. <laughs> Waiting for the steel guys as well to put like some nice handrail in here. All right let's get to work. see here the original line and I'm pretty sure it used to be a door and then I kind of made a window out of it and put the stones here. You can see the other line is over here. First take out the big ones in the top here because once we remove these then these will fall down. Yeah, it's been a week now since we put the concrete. We're gonna have the staircase here from metal and then a stone step here. We'll start working on the old plaster here from the big wall. I think I have to do the whole wall. Probably will take two or three days in total. For the door I cleaned up all the loose rocks as well and these are the ones that we're gonna have in the end and Mitzi is gonna rebuild the rest. On the other side we also have some really big uh, solid rocks and then there will be one step here and from here you can go straight to the tower terrace. <laughs> oh it's gonna be cool. Yesterday we worked until it got really really dark as you could see the time lapse. The big part for the day will be handling the other side here. That's a bit more scary because there's uh, no roof on the other side so <laughs> I have to make sure that I don't slip down. Yeah, and then afterwards in the end my steel guys can put a tiny uh, steel staircase from the new door to the new terrace. And then you can kind of walk into the tower from here. Yeah, clean up the inside as well. Pretty hollow here because this is where they used to have their fireplace or the chimney of the fireplace, which is going up here. And as you know, the door downstairs that also used to be the, the fireplace or the chimney. table here for the draft beer. Um, I'm gonna use the draft beer probably uh, not before summer next year because I'll need to uh, yeah first I need parking then I need to open up officially do advertising get more people and then we'll get the draft beer but for now I'll just use the space you know you always need a lot of space <laughs> then we have the fridge here there will be a door it fits perfectly um, over here, this is also a perfect fit. Uh, there's not a single centimeter of space left now. And we're gonna have some nice shelves here on the top. And to the sides here and here, probably I'm gonna get uh, seta designs to make that look nice with wood. We have the step down here and we'll make sure that all the bartenders working here will have a, 
a little fitness workout as well because you always have to kind of go down one step to reach this space and then go up again. <laughs> yeah, and lastly, this space in the corner, of course, we're gonna use that as well. We're gonna put some nice wood around it and have some more shelves built in bin. So I don't have to use any extra space for that. That's nice. Glass washer, it actually also works out perfectly. And then in the corner there, I can put like uh, washing stuff maybe. Yeah, this space is reserved for the ice machine. Come to Burma. <laughs> One day before I'm heading uh, to Germany for Christmas, we're taking down uh, the wood that was holding the concrete. before Christmas and New Year's. So, um, we cleaned up the door a bit more. Mitsu will start building that tomorrow. So sadly I can't show you uh, the beginning of it. And I'm just cleaning up some more. We're gonna put more mount over there in the corner just to make sure there's no water coming in. And um, yeah, so while I'm out, he's gonna work on the door and the window and on the stairs. My steel guys will put the handrails and then also put the little steps over here that I just ordered and I'll film all of that when I'm back uh, from Germany and uh, yeah we've got one really nice last sunset here now ah, the colors are just so amazing and with them I'm gonna leave you until New Year so we'll have some more content for this video let's see how everything looks when I come back <laughs> so Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year bye bye It's December 30th and I just got back from Germany for the Christmas break and while I was out they were putting the concrete here and also my steel guys were here to put the staircase and the handrails for the new terrace here. After that I literally just got back I have to unpack the car now and go uh, buy uh, drinks for the New Year's party tomorrow because tomorrow is a Sunday so the shops will be closed and of course I finally have to get rid of this here so I think I'll get that done today as well. It's the 31st of December now and um, yeah, I woke up pretty early this morning now it's 10 a.m. Uh, already got quite some work done and uh, we've got six hours until the New Year's party starts. And I also finally caught up with all the Instagram stuff so actually from tonight I can do some live stories. We're in the bottom floor of the stone house now and uh, we've uh, had setter designs here to add a few more things. For instance, uh, all the shelves here uh, to put the beer glasses and also the shelves on the fireplace. We've got some in the corner there. In this corner over here, um, we've got a rack for the firewood and I've got this really nice little uh, tray that I can pull out. So it's already halfway stocked up. And then I've got these very old locks. Those are the original locks from the stone house, uh, actually, which are serving as some old school shelves now. And then lastly, underneath the staircase, I have a cupboard to put board games and stuff like that. Here on this side, we've got some more storage room. It's just so cozy here. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of decoration up here already, um, but yeah, there's still more to bring in. The 
150 square meters of flat stones uh, made it safely to my property without destroying any trees. They will cover all of this concrete, you know. All of the gaps I will fill up with the soil. Hopefully soon it will look much nicer. And we're gonna build something around the drill hole here. Morning. Yeah, the sun is out today and uh, we're actually uh, walking on two fronts at the same time. So he's uh, working at the toilet area. Uh, it's one of the workers from Dacho. He's here for the first time actually. And Dacho is working on this side and they will slowly make their way towards here. Finished up with the drill hole now and here with a bit of um, uh, steel inside so no phones or uh, keys or anything like that can fall down. Also do some more work here on this little part. I have to build a tiny stone wall just to be able to fill up this little uh, hole now. Quite a high difference so I want to fill it up with soil. All right we used the last uh, concrete and we're calling a day. We need more sand actually and um, yeah I nearly finished the wall. I have to do a little bit more tomorrow and then I can fill up the soil here. On this side we got to this point here with the stones already and over here we made it to this point. That is tomorrow we're gonna use the rest of the stones. Hopefully it will be enough. We have uh, two full ones uh, like two and a half left from five so we used exactly half so we'll see if it's enough um, but yeah we're just gonna use everything and then we'll measure the rest. Probably we need another pallet here and if I want to do the same on my terrace another one for that area. Well, yeah, that's it for now. I'll call it a day, get a shower and I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back, we've got another beautiful sunny day. Uh, right now the guys are on lunch break, but we made good progress already. This will also uh, be covered, it's my water tank. Maybe you've seen it in the old video where we cleaned up that thing. It's um, 60,000 liters capacity and it will look much nicer in the end. Alright, the green pipe is finally gone. We can't see it anymore. Water tank area looks really nice now. The head is on the same level as the flat stones, so awesome! Good morning. Yeah, it's Sunday and after we had uh, two days of a break because um, the bar was open, uh, we're now continuing with the next part of the stone path. We only have uh, 30 square meters left. One of these pallets is exactly 30 square meters. In the last days I was filling up the two gaps here with soil before we put the flat stones. I have that covered in another video. I'm gonna do another gardening video. It's probably gonna come out halfway through the year or so. done for the day uh, we pretty much made it just exactly to the drill hole here in the middle of this uh, big area um, I want to in the future get one of these small cannons somebody actually offered me one of these already um, so there will be something standing there also a nice area for the private events I've got a few weddings actually already <laughs> lined up for this year most of them September and uh, people can just gather here and then Kind of chill out in the middle, plenty of space. Once all the grass will start growing and we have more like flowers here, it will look really, really nice. It's uh, February 1st and the sun is still out, luckily, for such a long time now already. And only sun in the forecast as well, so perfect weather conditions. So 10 to 12 degrees in the daytime. I can walk around the t-shirt if I'm uh, being active. And as you can see, we're making good progress here with the stone path. We're gonna finish up the rest to the gate today. So Dacho and this guy's left and I'm just sitting here on the bench. I really like sitting here in the afternoon sun. I'm physically very exhausted right now. 
because of all the soil work that I'm doing. Ach yeah, and tomorrow they're gonna start at the terrace upstairs. So I bought some extra stones and we're gonna get this done as well. See you tomorrow and I'll enjoy the last sun rays. Ah. Guys, I'm working on the terrace now. I have to sadly pretty much spend the whole day in the city to get my third uh, Borovac uh, residency card here. The temporary one. After five years, I can get a permanent one. We're gonna put some isolation as well and then have some sort of water train from this part of the roof going into the rain gutters. Guys are ready and um, I've got one hour to open the bar and tomorrow we're going to the Fuga here and you can kind of see the canal that we will have for the rainwater. It's just taking some videos for some uh, wedding requests here for the private events. By the way you can book this location for your private events as well if you have a wedding or a birthday party or company celebrations. Um, I'll put the link in the description below, the events link with the rates if you're interested. And I was just taking some footage for some people that wanted to have like a virtual uh, um, rund tour, uh, virtual tour pretty much and right now the light is coming out of the main door of the tower here so nicely and it looks so cool While the guys are working in the back, I'm actually gonna improve the little uh, fountain hole here because right now it's just a little bit over the floor and it's a bit too much of a drip hazard. I'm afraid people will fall over that. So get a little bit higher and also I'm gonna use the red stones for contrast because all of the other stones are gray. And then you can kind of uh, tell when you walk in, oh, there's something there in the ground. finished my uh, drill hole here. I think that's a good height. It's high enough for people to notice and um, yeah, not too big to be uh, too much in the way. And we actually used all of the stones. Uh, I think there's not a single one left uh, because we built a little path and we could just barely uh, finish it with the remaining stones. So perfect timing for that. Let's check out the path. Now I'm waiting for Mitzi since a few weeks already because he's supposed to build another wall here and uh, fix the last window. And I think when he's done with his work, we're pretty much done here for the year. The year just started, but uh, during the spring, summer and autumn, I want to concentrate on running the bar a bit more and have less construction stuff. So I have to get a truck and remove all of this uh, 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 trash and the mixer and everything and just clean it up a bit and then yeah we can hopefully use it here and in the winter start with the construction again so that's the plan yeah we'll probably have another video because I want to show you everything once uh, we finish with the fook and um, we have a bit more material <laughs> see you next time Made it to the end of the video that's awesome thank you so much if you liked it don't forget to hit that like button as well leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet a special shout out to my patreon supporters as well if you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal trip then check out the link below